I live in Sheffield and I've always had a really deep interest in prehistory, sort of like the uh, period from the late Neolithic to the early Bronze Age. And uh, we're having Derbyshire just like a 15 20 minute drive away. I'm spoilt for choice because it's absolutely stuffed with ancient sites. It's amazing how much stuff there is out here. Uh, we've got stone circles, standing stones, cairns, rock art. In fact, we've got the uh, most subtle concentration of rock art in the UK. Um, the thing I find most interesting is you've got your big show sites, your circles like Nine Ladies and all below and places like that. But I like to get out off the beaten track and sort of find uh, the more obscure sites. And there's, there's sites within like a few metres of main footpaths and there's ancient sites right beside them and people just walk on by and not realise they're there. And it's um, an interest of mine. I, I started up a website to log all these more obscure sites and it's those sites that I like to search out because some of them are really like heather covered and hidden and quite hard to find. But that's where I get my real pleasure from seeking out the more obscure sites. All, all over the Peak Districts there's, uh, there's rock art, uh, which is basically just uh, carvings by people in the late Neolithic and Bronze Age. And they're basically just like a, a little indentation in a, in a rock, and they're known as cup marks. And no one really knows uh, what they're about or what they mean. There's various different theories, but it's nothing solid. Um, some people say they use this like root markers or maybe even maps of the stars. But there's, there's nothing definite and it's, it's the mystery of the whole thing that keeps me out there looking for more and trying to understand it. I think this is a beautiful place and it's totally understandable why people come out here. You've got these huge landscapes, it's beautiful scenery, the tranquility. It would have been uh, quite a bit different in the times I'm interested in. Um, this would have been, uh, well before all the big cities, this this where we, where we people lived. And uh, you've got signs of it all around you. Uh, you've just got to keep your eyes open when you're out there and maybe when you've planned a route Maybe check online and uh, have a look around and see what you're going to be walking past because it really can make your walks much more interesting.